Hi, I'm Keith Angle. I'm an engineer with Automation Service, and this video is about the introduction of Vortex flow meters. Did you know that a gentleman named Theodore von Karman realized about 100 years ago that if you put a bluff body in a flow stream, it will generate alternatingly high and low pressure zones downstream. That is exactly why a flag flaps in the breeze when you have a fluid flowing past a bluff body, you get alternatingly high and low pressure zones downstream. It's called a vortex street. The same thing can be used in today's vortex meters by generating a turbulent flow in a vortex street with a fluid flow around a bluff body and you get alternatingly high and low pressure zones downstream. These high and low pressure zones can be measured by the deflection of this shutter bar that has piezoelectric crystals sitting on top of it that when the shutter bar actually moves back and forth or side to side in relation to the pipeline, it pinches those crystals and causes a change in the frequency and that can be amplified and transmitted with a transmitter with a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Some of the common shapes of a shutter bar are just a square piece of stainless steel or a T-shaped or a trapezoidal shape. The shape doesn't matter so much in the fact that as long as it will generate these high and low pressure zones downstream based on a certain range of Reynolds numbers, you'll, you'll be able to have that shutter bar move from side to side and generate those vortices. A vortex flow meter requires a higher velocity to measure flow rate. It does not measure low flow. You need other technologies for that. It needs a, a cleaner fluid, not suspended solids as they might be erosive, and reduce the edge of the shutter bar and cause an inaccurate measurement. The vortex meters can be sized anywhere from a half inch to large dimensions greater than a 10 inch pipe sometimes. If you need any assistance with sizing the vortex flow meter, please let us know. We'll be happy to help. You can find us on the website. And if you have any questions, please call us. Thank you.